Welcome. Thanks for dropping by the Wager Talk Sports Memo Studios. We're going to talk football today. We're going to talk NFL uh, football today. And while it may not be the most exciting game on the board, I think it's a pretty important game for both teams, both franchises, both, both organizations. And a game, I think, that's that shows some favor uh, to one sideline over the other and I think maybe worthy of an investment. Um, the Browns and the Browns and the Broncos, week 12, Sunday, at Empower Field at Mile High, kickoff scheduled 4.05 Eastern time, a Fox broadcast. Uh, and what do we know and what do we not know about the Browns and the Broncos? A lot, guys. Really, truthfully, a lot we don't know. Uh, what we do know is that both of these teams can be good at their best and can be really bad when they're not at their best. Um, Denver have won four straight, three and one against the spread during that time. And they, in truth, many, they have to, they have to kind of uh, pimp games and teams as being this or that. And they're pimping both these teams to be playoff contenders. In truth, they probably are. Denver much deeper and darker uh, journey than it is for Cleveland. But some of the things that have happened for the Browns uh, make it more difficult to believe they too are going to be at the top of their division or maybe in the wild card picture. It's hard. It's not that hard to say for me. It isn't for me. And this is a, this is a Browns team that continues to do what they need to do to win. Right. Uh, seven and three overall. Um, the under is cashed in five straight games for the Broncos, five straight. Uh, and the fact that they're three and one, or one four straight in those five games that I'm just speaking of is important. This is a team that doesn't that right now doesn't need to score a lot of points to win. Obviously, um, of the three wins, those three wins that that Denver has um, during the stretch have been fairly impressive, right? And we'll go over that here in a few more minutes. Um, the Browns suffered a really a big blow when they learned Deshaun Watson had broken his collarbone and throw, at least his throwing shoulder, not the collarbone per se although I think that might be part of it. Um, that in the Week 10 win in Baltimore. That moves us on to a Dorian Thompson-Robinson. And we'll just do just use DTR moving forward with this preview. He was named the starter. And in truth, he managed Week 11 game pretty well against Pittsburgh. They won 13-10 to 10 on a last-second field goal. The Browns' defense has been absolutely relentless all and every single week of the season, especially in Sunday's win – over the Steelers. And I don't want to get, I don't want to put too much emphasis. That is the Steelers offense. that has not been very good. In truth in this division with Baltimore and Cleveland and Cincinnati uh, and Pittsburgh, uh, you really don't know from week to week outside of the Ravens, maybe what you're going to get, um, especially now that Cincinnati has lost their starting quarterback. So the Browns D allowed 249 yards, 12 first downs, 4.4 yards of play. Uh, the number is actually was skewed a little bit by a 74, 75 yard touchdown run by by uh, Warren, running back Jalen Warren in the third quarter. Uh, DTR has had but one off moment, one miscue, an interception. That interception, Cleveland, it, it, basically they've even the minus one turnover mark out with the three sacks. So the the Broncos they got it out of twenty one to twenty win over the Dolphins or the, the Minnesota Vikings uh, at Mile High. Pretty impressive. So now we have a 7-3 Cleveland Browns right at the thick. The playoff picture in the NFC season reaches basically Thanksgiving weekend. A, a turning point, or should I say, it's kind of that Mendoza line of what's the NFL going to do? Are you going to be a better team moving forward? Or are you going to be a seller and be worse? Uh, essentially preparing for next season. Um, after back-to-back -back wins over division rivals Baltimore and Pittsburgh, Cleveland, well-positioned, well-positioned. The number, uh, basically, the first, the number of this key AC matchup remains on Cleveland's schedule is is really important. This this is game one, a non divisional game that's really important for Denver. That's that sound is the same ring. It's just, it rings true as it is for for Cleveland. So mile high, Sean Payton and the Denver Broncos against Cleveland and a coach and a, and, a, and basically an organization that few that I know trust to be good on Sunday. The fact that this is in my line, that you have a Peyton who I thought was going to be a seller five weeks ago, has turned into a, you know, a pit bull and is trying to do everything he can to win on Sunday um, with a quarterback, Wilson, who's played much better 
as of late. They seem to understand they can, they have to run the ball, throw the ball, yada, 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 right? Um, the wins over Kansas City, Buffalo, and most recently, Minnesota, which I said the Minnesota Dolphins, the Minnesota Vikings team. Um, it's been an unexpected turn, needless to say, for the Broncos. And a, a tough task for the oddsmakers, to be honest with you. And in a nutshell, I don't care that the Browns are planning on signing veteran Joe Flacco uh, to the practice squad so they can have somebody to back up DTR. This Cleveland team is a team that I never have been able to wrap my arms around in the last three or four years. And when I do, I'm not, I'm usually wrong. Uh, Denver's a different story. I seem to have always had a pretty good pulse of that locker room through my connections. And today uh, I'm stepping out to tell you personally that I'm all over the Broncos, which is a far cry from what I would told you five weeks ago. The Dolphins at home in mile high over DTR and the Cleveland Browns. That's my pick. And before I go, I want to say happy Thanksgiving. And from here, now, until Sunday, the uh, 26th at midnight, you can get a seven-day all-access pass for only $69. No code necessary. Head over. Wait to talk. Sports memo. Get your favorite capper. Get them for seven days. Less than $10 a day. Let's win some money.